In this simple video today, we'll be looking at how to remove haze from an image using the removal haze filter inside Affinity. So before starting the video, if you want the image that we will be using in this tutorial, please find the link for the image in the description to follow along. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please hit the subscribe button to get new tips and tricks related to Affinity. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. So before applying any haze removal to our image, first of all, let's make a copy of our Im image layer by selecting the image layer in our layers panel and then using the shortcut key of command J as I'm using Mac. And if you are working on Windows, you can use the shortcut key of control J and this will create a new copy of our layer, which is the background layer of the image. Now, after creating a new copy, I'll simply double click on our newly created layer and then rename it to Haze Removal, M-O-V-L, Removal. And then after renaming our new copy of the layer, I'll simply click on this eyeball icon in order to hide our previous image, which is the background layer. So next, by actively selecting the Haze Removal layer where we are planning on removing the haze from, at the top of the mountains we will navigate up to our menu item called pixel and after selecting pixel we will navigate below to filters and then inside filters at the top you can see that there is re repeat removal haze so this option is visible because i recently applied haze removal to a picture before shooting this tutorial however we will not click on this option and we'll simply navigate below and select haze removal after selecting he haze removal now you can see that affinity has recently analyzed our image and applied the necessary haze removal for our current picture our image and in addition to that we are also being shown a new haze removal box at the bottom of our image so i'll click on this box and then drag it all the way to the top like so and now you can see that many settings has been by default adjusted by affinity by analyzing the level of haze in our current image so we can change different settings as per our criteria and as per how much it is needed for our image so our first option is distance so for distance i'll simply click on this particular slider and drag it all the way to the right in order to increase the value of the distance so the next option we have is strength so by the way right now nothing is being happening after we have adjusted our distance slider because we need to trick other sliders as well so now i simply click on the strength slider and then increase the strength all the way to the right and you can see see that slowly haze is being removed from the mountains and we can also next control the exposure correction option after that so if we drag the slider of exposure correction to the left then you can see that most of the posturized effect will be visible at the sky so we do not want that so we need to find a perfect place for exposure correction so that we do not see any issues in the area of our haze so i think this much is adequate for now for exposure correction so we can play around also further with strength value and distance value so if we decrease the strength value you can see that more of the haze will be introduced at the top of our mountain in the picture and if we drag the slider of the strength all the way to the right you can see that now most of the haze will be removed at the top of our mountain in the picture as well as around the mountain now the next option we have is distance we can also play around the distance value like so and you can see the more we decrease the slider of the distance the more the haze are coming nearer and the more we increase the distance slider the more the haze will be removed as per the distance so we'll keep the distance slider all the way to the maximum as well as the string slider all the way to the maximum to get rid of most of the haze. And we will keep the 
exposure correction slider as it is. So after we are satisfied, we can also check the before and after. And there are different views to check the before and after, starting from split view to mirror view. So if we click on split view, you can now see the before and after, where the after is on the left and the before is on the right. Or after we are satisfied with this particular haze removal, we can now navigate and click on the apply button to apply the haze removal. So now you can see most of the haze at the top of our mountain in the image has been removed. So let me turn on our previous layer which is the background layer and then let me turn off the haze removal layer by clicking on the eyeball. So this is the before and this is the after. So you can see although the haze removal effect is subtle comparatively to our image on how it was before in the background image before most of the haze have been removed by giving a natural feeling when we see this image so if you find this video helpful please click on the like button and for more tips and tricks related to affinity hit the subscribe button thank you for watching this video and see you on the next video